Hello everyone, I'm Dan and today I'm going to be trying out some of the weird and wonderful flavoured crisps that are available in China. Um, for our American friends of course, um, potato chips. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be trying out um, several different flavours and giving my opinion. I've got a glass of water at the ready in case they're disgusting. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you what I think and hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the first one we're going to try is called um, Oisha, possibly Oisha at the top there. Uh, and they are pea snacks. As you can see from the packaging, it looks a lot like um, uh, peas in the pod. So let's try it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see close up, it's very similar to a, a pea pod. So let me try To be honest, it doesn't really taste like anything. Um, peas, not really. Um, a bit of an aftertaste now, I suppose, but yeah, it's uh, nothing. Sorry, Oisha pea snacks are not very exciting. Okay, next up we have lime. This is um, by Lay's, of course, in the UK, they're known as Walkers. So I don't think this one will be too weird, but let's have a taste. Lime flavour, okay. So, t smell very limey, very uh, citrusy. Yeah, very limey. Um, but again, not too weird. Yeah, quite nice. I'd probably eat these again. Okay, Lay's again. Uh, and with the Lay's, this time we've got cucumber flavour. Um, for anybody that's been to China or any of my friends who are watching this that already live in China, you'll probably know about these. Um, we They're quite popular, um, I think. I think we've all had them at some point. I don't think that they taste of anything. Let me just open up the packet and then we'll see. Yeah, straight away, really strong smell. Um, yeah, quite pungent. They're yeah, quite gross, really. They really do taste cucumber cucumbery, but with the as a crisp, it's really strange with the texture. So, yeah, that's a miss. That one. Sorry, that is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, these ones they look a little bit like real McCoys. Um, again, I think I may have had this before at some point. Uh, this one's obviously a kimchi flavor, so like the Korean style. Um, the only English writing I can see on it is here. It says Wave. Um, but I don't think that's the name of the brand. I don't know how to say that. It's obviously in Chinese. So let's have a taste of this. Kimchi flavour. I think this is going to be quite strong. Yeah, quite a pleasant smell actually. So let's have a taste. Yeah. Yeah, if you've had kimchi before, it tastes very similar to that. I mean, it, it's doing exactly what it says on the packet. It's not very nice, to be honest with you. A bit too strong. <coughs> gross. Uh, and this is Lay's um, grilled squid flavour. Perhaps one of the more interesting flavours I think of the ones I've gone for. Um, again it looks a bit like the uh, the wave one. So let's have a taste of this. Um, the, the, it doesn't smell too bad. Right, let's have a taste. Actually, that's quite nice. That's probably the best one I've tried so far. Um, quite, quite a nice flavour. Uh, it's not too strong either. Um, so yeah, that one gets a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, this is another Lay's. Uh, this one is a, a seaweed flavour. So let's see how this is. I'm wondering if the colour of them will be uh, green, but probably not. Let's see if I can open the pack yet. Now, they're not green, but they've got lots of green bits on it. So let's have a taste. It smells very, very much like seaweed. Mm. 
Yeah. Not great. Not nice. Um, but yeah, not 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 too overpowering. So not not a bad flavour. Okay, this one's uh, an oishi. Um, this one is supposed to be a burger flavour. You can see a picture of the burger at the top, and then there's a, a chicken holding the burger or some kind of duck thing. It doesn't seem to mention anywhere that it is a chicken burger, so I assume that it's just a, a, a beef hamburger. So. Uh, Let's have a taste. All the all the stuff on the back's in English as well, so it's kind of interesting. All right. Okay, so it looks a little bit like a burger. You can see there. It doesn't really taste of anything. Yes, yeah, it's it's fine. It doesn't taste like a burger. Um, just just yeah, just a, a, a crisp, just like something that little kids would eat. It's perfectly eatable um, but yeah I don't know I just so so this is one that's really intrigued me it's ice cream flavor they actually look in the pictures like onion rings um, but it's um, it's got a little smiley guy on the top there um, but it's supposed to be flavored like ice cream so let's see I, I can't imagine this one will have a very strong flavor okay oh they're really small they're really small, like absolutely tiny, nothing like uh, an onion ring, so. Really soft, really sweet. I'm gonna have some water because that's not great, to be honest. Yeah, um, but there's loads of them. If you look in the packet, it's just like, there's just hundreds of them. It's more like eating like Cheerios or something. It's, it's too sweet to be like a savory snack. But I guess that was to be expected, ice cream flavour, hey. Uh, this is another flavour that has um, caught my imagination. It's a, a mango. Again, for friends that have been living in China, um, you'll recognise this this guy. He's on a lot of different flavoured crisps. There's all different, um, like, different flavours, tomato and different things. But uh, this one is mango, apparently. So I'm going to check this one out. Wow, that's <laughs> that is mango. Yeah, that is really strong flavour. Um, again, this one's quite sweet. Um, I yeah, I I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just a sweet crisp, and it's um, yeah, not something you'd want to be eating when you're having your sandwiches. I don't think. Okay, now we're on the last selection. These are actually um, three flavours. Uh, this is Oishi again. These ones are particularly interesting. The, they're called corn curls and they come in a variety of flavours. I've picked three. Um, melon. This one's quite interesting. Orange. One that I think most people will be interested by is this one, which is a chocolate flavour. So I'll start off with the melon. Um, because why not? You've got to start somewhere. Why not start with a melon? So here we go. Okay, quite small. Straight away, a waft of, of, of uh, a melon smell. Uh, and they're quite small again. Um, it's kind of weird because I even noticed it as I was putting it in my mouth. At the bottom, it's got like kind of like a cream on it. So it is kind of like a crisp, but it's almost like it's got like um a little bit of cream on it, like a bit like um the cream that you'd find in um, a custard cream. It's it's actually quite pleasant. Um, yeah, quite a nice flavour. So let's try the next one then. Let's try the orange. So we'll try the orange. Again, it's got the, the layer of icing or cream on it. Again, it's really nice. It's it's really quite it's really quite pleasant. I like um yeah, it's not too sweet either. It's really that's, that's, yeah. I'll be buying more of these, I think. And the last one is the chocolate, which I imagine is going to be fantastic uh, based on the other two. So let's have a, let's have a try. 
Okay, this one looks a lot more, you can definitely see the cream on this one because it's different colour to the, the actual crisp itself, so let's have a taste. Hmm. Actually a little bit disappointing, because the other two are so good. Uh, this one, the chocolate doesn't really, doesn't really work with the crisp, I don't think. Um, it's kind of strange. But anyway, that's, that's, that's all my flavours. So, I don't think any of them are particularly weird um, in, in taste. There's a few strong flavours, um, but I think overall not too weird. So, um, yeah, send me a message. Tell me which ones you'd like to try. If you'd like me to bring you back a packet, um, if I know you and you want me to come back to the UK with a packet of one of these, then let me know. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd introduce you to a few of the weird and wonderful flavours of uh, Chinese potato chips crisps. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.